Hey guys, Ghost Boy Ghoul here. So, I did make a previous video on my first win while I was live on Twitch to this. Um, if you haven't seen that, you don't need to because this is going to be a better run. It's a little more refined. I picked up on some mistakes I was making. I fixed them. And I have a bit slightly better equipment and um, reworked my materials and summons, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to basically talk over my video because I recorded it and I'm just going to let it play and we'll go from there. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So this is for very hard, obviously. Here I am just going through showing my equipment. As always, I go through it a little bit fast. So if you want to see any and break it down for yourself, you can just pause the video at any point and check out the stats. Um, of course, this dungeon is weak to ice and earth so uh the focus should be ice and earth and you may notice i did not put any ruins on my characters now this is a hind dolphin low end whale sort of run so whenever a boss did break out their uh their phase where you would try to break them with ruin res or ruin or blows instead i wanted all my characters even the ones i wasn't controlling to be focusing on the strongest attacks they could have possibly done to finish the boss off before the boss did the moves and that's why I didn't have any um, ruin res. I did try a few runs with two uh, as soon as poison poisons to cure the poison because the adds were a huge pain in my rear end for um, more than 10 runs and these 10 these runs last like minimum 20 minutes before you die or or win but uh, so it was it was a bit of a pain. But I figured out a way to get past the ads a lot easier. It makes them so much easier. I thought they were harder than any of the boss, but that's just simply not true. I was just not fighting the ads right, uh, correctly in the first place. Um, so you'll see all that in this video. Basically, I packed most of my ice potency on uh, Sephiroth, all my earth potency on, or most of my earth potency on Lucia, and then Aerith had a mixture of both earth and ice potency while mainly being my healer. Um, most of the bosses in this dungeon are are not uh, susceptible to physical defense down um, or attack down. Some of them are, but it doesn't, like most of them aren't. However, they're almost all susceptible to magic defense down and several of them are more weak to magic rather than physical. So I brought three magic DPS um, people in or two magic and one kind of support that also does DPS. Scorpion goes by fast. I, of course, don't beat Scorpion the most because you don't really die to Scorpion. Um, I always start with the Diving Burst to get the ice resistance down and then hit him with Aerith's ice attack. So she not only does she do more damage, but she also then brings the magic defense down from Snowflake. While that's all happening, Sephiroth is going to Freddy stance to bring his magic attack up. In my case, it's by three tiers because they know B is OB6. I set a Blazara off with Lucia. Another uh, snowflake attack off with um, Aerith, and by that time, Sephiroth should already be using his aerial frost blade. Plus, um, I did switch over to Lucia near the end of the fight here just to make sure she doesn't fire off another Blazara because she didn't need to, just to save her ATP for the next fight. And here you have one of two ways you can go. Once you go too far in one direction, you can't go back. So you could go this way and fight Wu and Tai first or Balwar King first. I've tried that a bit. Um, the the Wu and Tai fight first and then going the other way was kind of working out for me. However, I didn't have um, the items from this chest that would have made all the other fights easier. So I just ended up going back to the first route I was doing in the first place and it, ultimately that's what worked out best for me. Now, these ads and the other ads were a huge pain in my rear because I was focusing on the one in the middle, whereas you want to take out the ads, ads. You want to take out these little wrath hounds before anything, and the fight gets so much easier, trust me, because Queen Gas Strike does have a little bit more health, or it's a little more beefy to take out, and all three of them cause poison. So, you take out the two little guys because they're easier to kill, and then you have to heal less poison, and I didn't need to bring in two Asunas, so I could put a better stat stick on Lucia, because I had a... I was trying a, um... Poison Asuna on her as well as Aerith just to get through them. They were such a pain. And I even tried runs where I was sacrificing a whole uh, Shiva Diamond Dust from Sephiroth on the second wave of ads because it was just 
<laughs> it was too much. So I'm hoping this video comes across to some people who might have been struggling the same way I'd, I did. Take out the side, the Wrath Hounds first before the Gas Strike and I, promise me it'll make your run so much easier. Now, here, I basically, you basically only want to use Ethers if you feel like you need to. Like if you're, if you have less than half the amount of uh, ATB, then maybe put three. If you have two or less, I would use the, um, the better ether that gives seven ATB. Because uh, you do want to go into these fights pumping out your best moves right away. Like, although Molecrawler isn't weak to ice, he's not resistant to it either. So I always start out with Snowflakes Attack, Snow Spell to bring the magic defense down. Uh, Lucia, you can't use Diving Burst on Molecrawler to bring ice resistance down because Molecrawler is not weak to ice and uh, that only takes effect on enemies that are weak to ice. Any elemental attack like um, elemental resistance down attack like that. That's how that works. Only works on enemies that are that are actually weak to that element. So Lucia just goes straight in with her Rock Blast from Holiday Revolver. Super powerful. Uh, and uh, Sephiroth, although I didn't even put an Earth weapon on him. I had um, a five star uh, Quake Arrow Blow on him a bit ago because it had like 7.9% magic attack potency. It was basically just a stack deck, and I assumed maybe he'll use it because even though his physical attack isn't as high as his magic attack, it's still kind of high. He never ended up using it. In, even by default, he's still going to end up using his Aerial Frostblade. His magic attack is buffed. So even on the enemies that aren't weak to ice and are weak to earth, he's still going to pack up a, a big punch just doing ice moves. And then um, Aerith will always use a mix of both just because she brings the magic defense down with her ice move. And then she can switch over to either her multi-hit quick hits with uh, her wiser staff. Or just a, a, a quick era for the magic attack quake on a single target. Pretty much only use the wiser stuff on uh, Wu and Tai. You'll see that coming up. Now, I have had runs where I did not have to heal. Um, I didn't have to use any supplements, no potions. And I've also had runs where I didn't have to use any ATB on either of these first three fights. Sometimes you can just get lucky by where you finish the fight. You'll finish it right before you're going to get hit by something, and the next thing you know, you have full HP. Or you'll fin you'll finish it with a 3 ATB move when you're you're basically at max, and everyone else is sitting at like seven, like six or seven ATB. And in cases like that, you don't have to use items. You want to try to use as least amount of items as you can. Not everyone's going to be the same, but you want to try to kill him before he does the water surge. Water surge won't kill you, even if you forget to hit the uh, defense. If you have enough health, uh, even if I forget to hit defense in the battle bar king where he does the water surge, I still survive that move, but it's not worth taking the hit. You, I mean, play the run anyways if that happens to you, but uh, if you can try to kill him before that goes off, that's why I have the um, Quake Cocktails on Aerith and Lucia for that purpose, just to try to take him out before that water surge even hits you. Might not even need to put one on Aerith, but I do anyways. Um, whoever's your main Earth DPS, you might want to do that. Now, here's an interesting thing I was doing. Um, I don't have any physical attack users. However, um, I'll wait until I do it here. Maybe I'm using ATB first. Yeah, I'm using ATB first. Okay. So I double up on Lucia because she's my main Earth DPS and these guys are weak to Earth. Now, these guys are not susceptible to magic defense down, so I do not do not use that again. But okay, the power jelly. I did put one on Sephiroth because of Shiva's Diamond Dust. It's, it combines both attacks put together for m more damage. So the physical attack up potencies are actually going to make your summons or limit breaks hit even harder. <clears throat> okay. Oh, and I did end up switching. Um, I took uh, Judgment Bolt off of... Uh, or I kept Lucy with Judgment Bolt. And I took Bahamut off of uh, Aerith for Healing Wind. Healing Wind did come in handy a couple times throughout this. And my Bahamut was only level 2 because I haven't beaten X1 or X2 yet. I'll be doing that next month when I do my pulls. I'll, I should be able to beat Bahamut X1 and 2 after that. But my Cloud is terrible, so for now I can't beat it. I have a lot of good units, I have a lot of good equipment. But the equipment that it takes, that everyone recommends to beat X1 and X2, I, I don't have... That stuff's good. That stuff's not good right now for me. Regardless... You wait for them to do their double double physical attack. 
you hit defense, if you don't hit defense, you're going to die, even at full health. So you hit defense, you tank the hit, and then you wait for them both to lower their defenses, and then you use your limit breaks. Because, like I said previously, limit breaks are both magic and physical attacks put together, so their physical defense down, it's good, that's going to take effect, and you're going to do massive damage to everybody. And of course the healing wind helped boost the attack of the other two moves by using them all at once for the combo and you heal the whole party effectively because the whole party just took a massive hit then you then that's one of those examples i mentioned earlier too where they break with the circle sigil i didn't bring any uh circle ruiners with me for that purpose because while i'm hovering on one person let's say i'm hovering on Aerith, uh lucy is going to start popping off ruin blows instead of using rock blast with her holiday revolver which <laughs> you want her to do because you want to take these guys out as fast as possible and you want to do the most damage as fast as possible so all right now i died on these next guys so many darn times it was a pain um so i heal up just for i healed up just for that fight and i remember i think in this recording here i didn't even go back and watch the recording i'm just going off memory but uh I, I played it a little risky. Um, in a lot of cases, you're probably going to want to be at full health here. I did this run actually with no Cottage and no Elixirs. I haven't even tried using Elixir once, but on previously done runs, I think even on uh, even on my best run, which was slightly better than this run, I didn't record it though, I did end up using a Cottage. Feel free to use a Cottage if you have to. But um, in this run particularly, I didn't end up using one. So these aren't gonna take the attack ups aren't gonna take effect for the ads, but I knew the final fight was after this anyway. So I'm just preparing for the final fight right there and there and then. Now, <clears throat> coming up, this is where the second phase of ads are gonna be. They are gonna be quite powerful because you've already beaten three of the the bosses, and after every boss, everything's power goes up. So again, same strategy as before. I went over to Wrathhound, and I knew one of them was going to hit me with a poison, so I prepared in defense mode to heal with a uh, healing poison right away, and then another one right away. If you're in defense mode when you heal, you will heal a little bit more, but you want to get right back in the attack position and let it fill um, as quick as you can. Alright, I think I need the snow spell here. We see a hit with the ice uh, defense down and aerial frostbite coming in before the Legion Slash comes out. That was risky. Lucia could have died. Anyone could have died. That was a gamble on my part. And, uh, glad I took it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm recording with me on the left here. I, that's probably, um, taken away from all the bonuses and whatnot. Let me fix that. Uh, okay. Okay. We'll do the rest of the video like this. <laughs> Move me over. But yeah, now I'm just preparing up for the final fight here. Again, I didn't use a cottage. Instead, I used uh, supplements and high potions. I think three and three is actually will take off, off less score than using a whole cottage will. Even though a cottage isn't that bad compared to an elixir. Um, I wanted to use my summons. I think you... Now, I'm not actually sure. Leave it in the comments if using one elixir would have been better than using, like, eight or nine items like I just did. Because I used freaking uh, summon charges as well. And, you know what? I I just, I feel like using an elixir is the worst thing you can do for your score. But if you got to survive with an elixir, hey, that's what you got to do. So, <laughs> survival's first, right? That's not true. Hitting hard is first. Survival second, right? Am I right? No, I'm just kidding. All right. It's true though. You you kill the enemy before they hit you, and uh, you don't need to survive. They need to survive. <laughs> You're the threat, not them. No. <laughs> uh, I'm half kidding. Okay. Now here, before I launch anyone off, this is the same skill as the Scorpion, or same idea as the Scorpion. I went to Lucia first to hit with the Diving Burst, and then to Aerith to bring the defense down, because she's going to do more ice damage, because the ice resistance is down by three tiers, thanks to Lucia's Diving Burst. Oh, and while that was happening, Sephiroth also used his Frenzied Stance to get his magic defense up by three tiers, before he got the Diamond Dust in as well. So all three of them did something um, for the summon. Ice resistance down from Lucia, 
magic resistance and some ice damage from uh, Aerith right after. While Sephiroth was using Frenzy Stance to power up his um, ice potency or his magic potency. And then we just go in. We try to do as much damage as we can, as fast as we can. We try to keep the ice resistance on. Lucy's already doing it on her own. Um, try to keep the magic resistance down as well. I think it goes off for like 10 or 20 seconds here, but it, I think it's mainly because, uh, oh, there we go. I went right into the snow spell as soon as I could. Um, she got some ATB from, or some summon gauge from using that, uh, snow spell before, uh, Ifrit's charge came at her. And then the snow spell didn't actually take effect, but she still got the ATB from it and it filled up her, um, Limit gauge so that she could use healing wind there right after that charge now. We're going in Here's where incinerate comes out and this one ticks me off a little bit too if it happens Oh, yeah, the end of this battle is BS I I do not, not even want to watch this part again But I'm gonna make you guys watch it and I guess I'm gonna make myself watch it too, but it's total BS You want to try to kill him before hellfire pops out and hellfire doesn't pop out at the end It doesn't even pop out in the middle it pops up like right before the middle like somewhere in like N and C, where it's like it says incinerate, and it's straight up BS because you don't know when to hit defense for it. It's you kind of just gotta gamble a little bit right before the middle, and I'm trying it right here. And now I I switch to attack to use diamond dust, and here comes the hellfire. I wasn't even def I, I was just in defense preparing for hellfire. I'm like, oh my god, this round is over, you know? And I can't use diamond dust because I was trying to click it. You saw me clicking it. <laughs> Hellfire still came up first. Ridiculous. Anyways, all I've got is uh, Aerith left. I'm trying to pop off these snow spells. Two of them still didn't kill him, even though his magic defense is down. He's still alive. I'm like, no. I got this off just in case, because I'm, th I'm thinking to myself, if I can survive one hit, I can get one more hit and then kill him, you know? A quick error probably kill could have killed him at three potency. I probably should have just done that. But he didn't even end up doing another attack. Anyways... And he almost got his final move off there, which would have been ridiculous. Would have been... <laughs> but hey. This was actually not my best run. It was actually my second best run, but I didn't get my best run on recording. This is basically the same idea, the same plan, the same setup that I went in. The only difference is um, the items I used and when, because that's almost always going to be different depending on um, how precise your run is. Uh, this run is only... Uh, about a hundred thousand under my best run. I think we'll see in a moment. That was a hundred sixty. Wait, one million six hundred twenty-nine thousand, and my best run was one million seven hundred twelve thousand. Oh, I'm in the way. Uh, let me just move myself. Um, let me see here. I'll just let that play again for a second. Will it fix my webcam solo? Uh, okay, well, that didn't... <laughs> Anyways, I moved myself here just so you guys could see it. And yeah, there's my, um, there's my best score. So, anyways, I hope that helps somebody. Or, if it helps one person, I'm happy, you know, if you just enjoyed watching it in general. Uh, leave a like, leave a dislike, uh... Or leave a comment if you want, um, talk about your setup, talk about what I could have done better, what I may have done wrong. I know I did a few things wrong that I probably left out of the video already. It is what it is. Um, and yeah, I do this on the side. Like YouTube is just fun for me. I, I don't like try to get anything out of it or anything. I just like making this stuff. I like helping people and it's just fun for me, especially like being like seven, eight, ten years later and you look back on all your stuff and uh, it's, it's just fun for me. But um, I do Twitch more than YouTube, so I'd love it if you threw me a follow on Twitch as well. I'm going to leave the link to that down below in the description of this video. And uh, don't just leave me a follow. Come by and say hi sometimes. I play Ever Crisis on stream too. I try to stream as often as I can. Sometimes it's not too often. It is what it is. Either way, um, hope to see you around. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.